Hey guys, welcome to Lightroom Zen, your source for tips, tutorials, and presets to improve your photography. So I've been gone for about a week and I apologize for the absence. I was in the process of moving, but I'm all settled in now and have a lot of photos ready to share. Um, been shooting a lot recently and I'll continue making these videos and sharing presets and everything with you guys. Um, also got a couple of good suggestions over the weekend and some uh, questions. Someone um, on YouTube asked for me to do an edit without any tone curves. They said that they started using them because of my videos, but they wanted to see how I would edit if I don't use them. So this is a really good image to show that you don't always have to have tone curves to get a, a good edit. So I'm going to show you the before and after. This was um, a really strong backlit portrait here. Um, the sun, you can see, is in this area and it was just really bright. And this was shot um, at 1 640th of a second at f1.8. Um, ISO 100 on a 50 1.8 lens, so um, it just got a. It's, it kind of creates a really low contrast when you shoot into strong backlight like this. And you can see I got nice lens flare even out of this cheap lens. It, um, it handled it really well and left me plenty of detail to work with here. So let's just get started here. Um, the the main trick to editing in backlit situations is the contrast. Like I said, it gives you a really low contrast image and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and warm this up while I talk. But you get a really low contrast image when you're shooting in really strong backlighting. So the, the main trick I use to fix that is to bring that contrast back up. And I'm going to bring it up a lot here. About almost the max amount there. And you can see that gets my skin tones and everything back to to where they should be, or closer at least. Um, then from there, just because this is such a bright image, I'm going to drop my highlights a little, smooth things out, and I'm going to bring in some more shadow detail here, just to even out the skin. Um, those two last steps really even out the lighting on her face. There we go. Um, this image is really sharp. I'm going to actually drop some of the clarity, just add a little softness to it. And I'm going to bring in just a little more vibrance. So there's pretty much a finalized image. Um, one other thing you can do if, if you don't want to put that much contrast in, another trick with, low, with um, high backlighting is to bring down the blacks. You can see that's going to bring in a lot more contrast too. For this image in particular, I like the contrast method over the blacks method. Um, it's pretty close. Um, from there, I would just do a, a little bit of skin smoothing with a, a clarity and exposure brush around the face here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And if you're familiar with my videos, you know what this brush is and that I use it all the time. Just paint over the large areas of skin. Make my brush a little bigger, quicker here. And then the last final touches here that um, I actually didn't do on the first edit of this image, but thinking now what else I can do to improve it, I'm going to use some graduated filters here, the uh, gradient adjustment tool. So there's our skin softening, really simple, really fast, and not too overly done. You don't want them to look like plastic. And if you want to see the settings on my brush here, it's negative 47 clarity, plus 7 shadows and plus 0.15 exposure. And I'll show you the before and after when we zoom in. So there's the before brush and there's the after brush. Really smoothed out the skin without making it look fake. It still looks like real skin with real skin texture. So the last thing, like I said, I'm going to do some graduated filter. It's the tool beside the adjustment brush. And for this image, I'm going to Go with exposure, I'm going to drop it by half a stop, and highlights down a little bit. And I'm going to bring it in this part of the image up here. Just kind of bring it down diagonally. And then on this side as well, come in from the side a little bit. Just bring It brings down the background there and makes the model stand out a lot more, it makes her really pop here in the image. I could actually do another one there, totaling to about a, a full stop on that side to even it out with the left side. So let's take a look at our, our finalized image before and after. So there's the edit and there's the before and that was with no tone curves as requested. 
all we used for that was the basic development panel. Didn't even do HSL or split toning or anything. Um, now I will go in and add a little sharpening before exporting and I always add a little grain as well. That's my last finishing touches. So there you go, there's a complete edited portrait. Um, some tips with dealing with backlight, real strong sun backlighting, um, and really simple portrait retouching tips for you guys, and no tone curves required. So follow me on Twitter, it's at LightroomZen, and check out the blog at LightroomZen.com, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.